Hello everyone, in this video we will try to hash out the strategy for oral pathology and medicine. As we know oral pathology is taught in the third year and oral medicine is taught in the final year. But being a dentist, uh, these are the subjects which form your fundamentals and this is the basic of your dentistry, right? So uh, not only for the NEET and INICT but for your clinical and career perspective also you should have a very good hold on oral pathology and oral medicine because the patient will be coming to you and if you are not able to diagnose the condition then there is no way or there is no use of knowing uh, other operative endodontics and all these uh, modalities well if you are not able to diagnose the condition well right another important thing i must say uh, for your career also that uh, if you are having a good hold on op that is oral pathology and the medicine then uh, you can help uh, the patient in a better way actually uh, because uh, as we know the uh, oral cavity is known as the mirror of the body right so there are certain disease which are reflected first in the oral cavity right so if you can understand the sign and symptoms of those disease by looking at the uh, oral cavity then uh, you can be a life savior for patient also right so as in the case of leukemia you'll see the gingival overgrowth so if you feel that yes that can be a problem that can be a leukemic overgrowth then you can always consider uh, referring the patient to the physician and get the more investigations done same way other metabolic disease also are reflected in the oral cavity much before they are reflected in any other areas of body so oral pathology not only important for your uh, NEET examination or your INICT examination but it is very important for building your basics so you by now you must be aware or you must have got my point that the importance of uh, oral pathology and oral medicine is very high it is an immensely important topic or the subject and you should have a very good grasp and in depth grasp of this particular subject and same thing is reflected in the uh, uh, competitive exams also uh, you must have seen also that almost 30 to 40 per questions are coming from oral pathology and medicine in exams like NEET as well as INICT so that is huge and this is the most important subject of your whole uh, dentistry or BDS curriculum so you should have a very strong hand on this subject and you can't have any excuses for not doing this particular subject if you look at the previous years friend the questions which are specific to oral pathology and medicine uh, we are just categorizing these as specific otherwise there are a lot more interrelated or indirectly related questions which are seen uh, which are there in the exam so if we say that the specific questions the in 2016 there were 22 in 17 there were 20 in 2018 there were 25 and last year there were almost 25 questions and this year also almost 28 questions but when i say 28 questions these are the direct questions on oral pathology and medicine but there are 10 15 more questions which are indirectly related to the knowledge of oral pathology and medicine so specific questions were almost 20 to 28 out of 240 that accounts for 9% and this is the maximum weightage a subject could have in the exams like NEET and INIC. Now coming to the books to read for uh, oral pathology, these are Schaeffer's oral pathology and the Nevels. These are two very important books and most of the questions will be coming from Schaeffer's only. Now some students ask like uh, which edition to be followed, actually after sixth edition any edition can be followed it could be seventh eighth or ninth whatever but the uh, we are mainly referring the seventh edition because a lot of questions and a lot of information has been deleted in the upcoming edition so most of the questions you can easily find most of the references you can easily find in the seventh edition so i would recommend personally that you should go for seventh edition of the oral pathology but if you have eighth and ninth or tenth with you that is also fine right now coming to the uh navels there is third edition which i'll be recommending but yes uh, if there is any controversy between navels and sheffers you should always go for sheffers because Neville is the secondary book which is used in the Indian examination right now the oral medicine there is no other book than Burkett's oral medicine and this is the wonderful book and you should have a very good grasp on the treatment plans as well as treatment methodologies of the uh, in the oral pathology itself right so this is basically the oral medicine so for reading the oral medicine also you should have 
good knowledge of oral pathology so that's why we have combined the oral pathology and medicine as a single entity right so you should know the pathology first and then after knowing the disease after diagnosing the disease you should know how you can uh, treat that particular disease so this is where the role of burkett's oral medicine comes so this is the standard book and the bodies which are framing the exams in india are using oral medicine that is burkett's oral medicine so here are the uh, bites from the oral pathology and oral medicine uh, we have compiled the information from the books like schaefer then uh, your uh, neville and your medicine book that is Burkitt's oral medicine yes there is no alternate to the standard books and uh, these this is just the compilation but yes these are good to go for the exam as i have already mentioned that the oral pathology and medicine uh, forms the basis for the dentistry so there will be a lot of topics which will be uh, interrelated to other modalities of the dentistry maybe they might be related to endodontic they might be related to conservative so all these overlapping things will be there but you have to make sure that you do all the tasks in oral pathology itself and use the overlapping information in the other modalities or other branches of the dentistry right so all these tasks are must and there is no option of leaving it here and doing in other subjects so let's start with the task list the first thing is the oral pathology syndrome so the syndromes which are relevant to the oral pathology basically which are given in books like Neville's and your Schaeffer's these are very important at least one to two questions are asked from the syndromes itself in any kind of exam so you should have a very good knowledge of all the syndromes because at least one question will be there for sure then developmental disturbances of teeth jaw and tongue actually developmental distances be, uh, disturbances becomes very important for the exams like INI CET and there is a good uh, proportion of the questions which are coming from the developmental disturbances in NEET also the only difference is INI CET asks more questions on the teeth jaw and tongue while more questions on oral mucosa lips and palate and other oral structures are asked in the NEET examination so this is the only difference but these two are very important and uh, almost 10 percent of the questions which are coming in oral pathology can be from developmental disturbances itself so this defines the importance of this particular topic in oral pathology now coming to the next category that is the benign tumors or oral cavity with benign you will have your malignant tumors also in the oral cavity as well as you should know the precancerous conditions precancerous lesions as well as the tnm staging these three although these are like there's a huge information to remember on those but yes the prototype of type of lesions will be coming in the exam and they'll be asking mainly the generic ones actually right so this is very important for your exam and for your fundamentals also now next thing is non odontogenic as well as odontogenic cyst and odontogenic tumors actually non odontogenic tumors are the benign tumors and malignant tumors so non odontogenic tumors we have discussed here and then we'll have to go for the odontogenic tumors like amyloblastoma and all and they are asked in details actually now disease of salivary gland now this again becomes important as i have also mentioned in the dental histology also uh, that salivary gland is given uh, more importance nowadays so you should have a good grasp on this topic also dental caries yes the histological aspects of dental caries are dealt in the oral pathology here you should have that uh, that uh, concept here and the normal aspect of your dental tissue can be done in the dental histology so this is also important actually then pulp and periapical infection although it uh, correlates with your endodontics right so you can um, see it late there also but it is recommended that uh, you just do the gist of pulp and periapical infection in the third year or the oral pathology itself coming to the next very important thing that is the disease of bone and joints right after the developmental disturbances if something is going to be surely come in exam that is your questions on the bone and joints right so after developmental disturbances this is something that is surely asked in the exam so as i always say that there are certain important topics and certain favorites of the exam so i can say in oral pathology also developmental disturbances bone metabolic disease skin these are certain topics which are always asked in the exam so 
then we have physical and chemical injuries yes this is good uh, to go topic then we have disease of nerves and muscles now it is also very important at least one question can be asked on the uh, diseases of the nerves and muscles for example mpds they can ask about tn other names of the tn they can ask about bell's palsy all these things they can ask right now skin and vesiculobullous lesions so there will be at least one questions on the skin lesions like lichen planus they can ask about your uh, erythema multiform they are can ask about sle and all so this becomes very uh, important and that's why we have divided this particular task into two parts because we want to highlight the important topics uh, in two different parts so this is again very important at least one question is going to come from this section also then bacterial infection yes this is good to go you can all also see the same information in microbiology for bacterial infection and viral as well as mycotic infection the, the only difference between the microbiology and here oral pathology and microbiology is sometimes we name it actually so the only difference is that here most of the questions are more concentrated on the oral aspects right so if they will ask something about mycotic infection they will be having most probably more concentration on the candida albicans so yes bacterial infection have to be done and they can be also overlapped with the microbiology right now coming to the next one the oral aspects of the metabolic disease again very important at least one question is coming from the metabolic disease uh, they can ask about the deficiency of some vitamin that can overlap with the biochemistry of course they can ask about the uh, oral uh, findings sign and symptoms of certain disease so this is also a important topic then tongue disorders yes we can go with that oral pigmentation is good to go the next topic is your disease of blood now this disease of blood is also very important because uh, a lot of questions are coming although it is also correlated with other subjects like physiology there is some gist of the blood then there will be that will be there in the general pathology also so disease of blood is very important and it covers a lot of subjects actually so this is important then coming to the image based question now image based question ini ct they have been asking a lot but now there is a new normal for neat also they will be asking a lot of image based question as we have seen this year also so this becomes very important the image based questions uh, like there is a lot of scope uh, of creating or framing the image based question from uh, oral pathology itself so there will be image based question and they can be directly from either navel or they can be directly from oral pathology we recommend you going through the bites because we have incorporated the important images in the bites also then there will be in the task there will be a full syllabus test that will be checking your knowledge on the different uh, topics which you have done so uh, this is basically the whole plan and we will be giving or given almost uh, two to three weeks actually for completing the oral pathology and medicine and that should be a in-depth study because that is going to form your basis for your dentistry also so as i have already mentioned that the oral pathology and medicine is really very important for your exam and while doing this particular subject you should have more focus on the developmental disturbances skin bone metabolic disease disease of nerves and muscles these are something which are going to give you uh, direct questions and there will be more of the questions on the histological aspect that can be taken from the uh, odontogenic, odontogenic and non-odontogenic tumors as well as an odontogenic and non-odontogenic cysts, benign tumors and malignant tumors. So there will be more questions on uh, uh, histological aspects from these actually and in skin also there is a scope of having more histological questions, uh, histopathological questions like from the lichen planus they can give. right? So uh, there will be a lot more clinical question as there is a trend of uh, having the clinical questions or the case based question we more appropriately say in the NEET examination. So uh, there will be questions which will be framed on these uh, like uh, oral disease right. So that has to be taken care of while preparing for your exam. So we have incorporated the case based question as well as uh, image based question for you to get a good hold on the oral pathology and medicine. So we just uh, recommend you read the subject first, okay, read the topic first, read the theory related to that topic that can be done by reading the bites also and then attempt the task and then you can go, once you are uh, confident in each and every task, then you can also attempt the question bank and go for the test like mock test and cumulative test.
I hope I have made the strategy clear for you. If you have any other doubts, please comment in the comment box below. We will surely get back to you. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to get notified for newer videos, please hit the bell icon. Thank you.